So in this video, we're going to talk about the three-dimensional coordinate system. We're all hopefully familiar with the xy coordinate system. The x usually extends off to the right. Positive x values would be off to the right. Positive y values would be up. To get a three-dimensional coordinate system from that, all we really do is take the origin and just imagine an axis coming directly out of the origin, you know, through the screen towards us. So if we do that, when we kind of look at that from a different perspective, we see, oh, there's what we call the z-axis going, if we rotate it like this, it's going up. The x-axis here is going to be off to the left a little bit. We'll just call it off to the left a little bit. Off to the right goes the y-axis and directly up goes the z-axis. And this is the orientation of the three-dimensional space that you're going to see most often is the z-axis going up like this, the, the x-axis going off to the left. Negative x then goes back towards the right and the y-axis goes off to the right forward a little bit and then negative y goes off to the left and back and z negative z values are going to go down. So that's that's the three-dimensional coordinate system and just like we had in two dimensions um, any point was described by two coordinates x and y coordinates we might have a point in three-dimensional space described by three coordinates like x, y, and z. So for example let's look at the point uh, 2, 3, 4 this has an x value of 2, so it goes 2 in the x direction. You can see that right there. It's 2 in the x direction. Uh, 3 in the y direction right there, 3. And then 4 in the z direction. And that's going to be a point in three-dimensional space. Looks just like that. Now, of course, graphing this by hand is a little, little more tricky. You have to be careful. Make sure that you can draw these axes. I always draw just... A vertical axis like this, horizontal axis like this, and then I just draw the third axis going down at a at an angle here. But that is uh, that's a point in three dimensional space. We'll see throughout our experience in calculus three that there could be points, there could be um, planes like uh, this. There's the vertical plane here. We'll see that in an example. Um, there could be other interesting surfaces. Uh, this is a three-dimensional surface. We'll get to that at some point. Um, it could be, you know, more functions like this. But three-dimensional space really just opens up a lot of avenues for us to explore as far as what can we do with calculus in three-dimensional space? What can we do um, to talk about extend, maybe extending a lot of the ideas we talk, we talk about in calculus one and two to three-dimensional space? So that's our goal, is to try to get everything we can out of calculus, and of course the next step is three-dimensional space.